Hi guys, this is Ari from TechShare. So today I'm going to share quickly about uh, identity server in Sitecore um, and also how can you enable uh, different different identity providers in Sitecore. So for example, if you want to enable Facebook login or Azure AD login, how you are going to do that? If you want to add, for example, a new entire custom provider by yourself, maybe you can create your own and then you can also do that. So today i'm going to show you the easiest one for that you really don't need to add any single line of code if you can literally enable azure ad and uh, you can actually use the azure ad uh, provider as your login provider to log into sitecore so the easiest way i mean when sitecore introduced this identity server then everything uh, you know turns to quite easy especially if you want to implement this kind of feature it's just nothing but some enabling disabling things so you don't need to write a single line for that so yeah but obviously you need to enable some configuration and everything so let me uh, let me show you first how actually it works so let me open my uh, let me see here so this is my instance sc93 dev local sitecore so if I now uh, go here, then you can see it is redirecting to SC93 identity server dev.local. So this is my identity server. So it is going there. So if you want um, to have the previous behavior where it will not use identity servers, what you can do is if you go this folder, uh, app config, sitecore, win, authentication identity server. And if you simply disable this one, then let's see what is going to happen now. So let's go here and just put disable. Okay, now let's go here and again try to load this uh, my my instance of Sitecore authoring instance. Then you'll see it will not go to uh, your identity server because identity server is entirely off. The configuration is completely. Uh, disabled so you can see here now you are using the old style of authentication right so that will also work you can use admin b that should also be working here in this scenario so our approach is not going to do that but just to let you know guys how it works in sitecore so this is literally really really easy so let me enable this configuration now what i'm going to do is to enable uh yeah so now refresh and obviously it will go to identity server but i need a new option in identity server where i can be able to log in through as you ready okay so that is my intention so how we're going to approach is we need to go to identity server so now here i am in identity server i need a button here saying not login but uh maybe login with as you ready or something like this so how we're going to approach is so if you go to your identity server so simply if you go here so this is my identity server explore and then what you need to do is you need to go site core and then you can see there plugin identity provider as you ready go there and you can see the readme file so that's basically give you some sort of hints how can you actually enable the thing so that is quite easy so if you open uh, this file here and then what you are going to see here is so it's a login via as you ready but and it is now enabled false means it is disabled so what you can do is you can simply uh make it true okay so this is the first thing you can do but you also need client id tenant id right so client id tenant id what is this so for that you need to create you need to have your own as your uh, as your uh active directory so if you go your Azure, so I am already here in my Active Directory. So in the Active Directory, what you need to do is you need to, so I'm now in my Active Directory in Azure portal. So what you need to do is you need to create application as simple as this, So new registration, then you're gonna end up having some sort of this kind of application. So I already have Azure app, so you can put any name. And then what you need to do is in the authentication, right? In the authentication, you need to provide this uh, redirect URI. So this is pretty interesting because what you need to provide here is your 
your identity server so this is your identity server and this sign in oidc so this is something you need to provide so once you need to provide then what it will do is once okay let me let me let me fill this thing first client id and tenant id so you are you will find here so if you go to your overview then you'll see this is your um, application right in the application what you need to do is this is your client id copy this one and then client id paste it here and then this is the tenant id copy and then put it here as well now just save this one i'm not going to do anything else save it and since this is under this is running under identity so what you need to do is you need to restart your identity so this is my identity let me restart here it's successfully restarted now let me refresh this one because this is my identity server instance okay it will take a bit of time because i just restarted the server okay awesome so you already have this option but you also have another thing login via as you ready this is nothing but this one login via as you ready. so you can configure this one as well whatever the thing you need here you can do that but let me do this login via as you ready right click this one then out of the box you're gonna go to your login microsoft online so this is the user i already have okay so this user is under that active directory i have created that user so you can create your user simply say i mean simply means just go here and um, this is your user so, so you can create a new user so this is the user actually i'm using right now this user sc test okay so this is this test. okay if you sign in then what are we expecting uh oh it's not working so that's the thing so it is actually working you can see the login with this one and it says log out but somehow my site core instance doesn't recognize that user as a as a site core user so that for that you need to tell site code that hey there is a user who can be able to log in in my uh, ad azure ad so that user i need to bring i need to i want to bring into my site core so for that you need to tell site core uh to to authenticate that user means you need to create that user in the site core instance as well so site code doesn't recognize any external user so whatever the user you will bring in in the site code through different identity server you also need to register that user to the system in site core so you can either do through a virtual user you can create a virtual user and then you can do that or you can create a real user and you can reuse that one as well so i think the better approach should be just use the virtual user create a virtual user and use that one and give him the proper permission so that that virtual user can do whatever you need to do uh through that user so yeah for that what we need to do is now if you open this uh this is so we are all doing inside the inside the identity server so we are not touching any configuration in the site code instance site code instance what we did just basically uh enabling this identity server so when your identity server is using inside code instance then you can do all the configuration in your identity server itself so you don't don't need to go to site code and do whatever you need to do i mean that would be really really complex Okay, so what you can do is, you see the site code already has given all the instructions that we need to follow. So there are a couple of things you can do. You can claim, you can, um, you know, transform uh, the data that you need to do. But what I'll do here is I will use this one, Azure AD user to admin user. So what I am going to do is I will copy this one. This is self-explanatory, kind of. Okay, so now I am telling that, okay, there is an Azure AD user. I need to treat that uh, user, whatever the group uh, that user belongs, uh, I want to treat that user as admin user. So that basically means this is a group, right? And there is a value. So that basically means here, um, if you expand this group, right? So I already have on group called administrator so you can create another group and then you can put a couple of user under that group and then you need to copy this object id so basically that means any user belongs to this administrators group will be treated as admin user as simple as that so what you can do is you can paste this one simply and then you can save it once you save that then again you need to restart the identity server that you can do here pretty easily 
and then you can refresh this page okay just wait for a while awesome so i'm gonna log out now and re-log in again awesome okay okay voila see it's working perfectly fine so now we can see this arif means the uh, user i'm using under my under my uh ad as you ready so you can basically do everything because this user is a admin user right now okay so quickly i wanted to grab um this idea to and Anna share this idea to you guys so hopefully you it would be helpful so um the step i'll try to put the steps in the description so that so that you can get that from there there as well and uh, i will also put some of the links so that you can simply go there and uh, grab all the necessary necessary uh information that you need to grab okay so for that for now that's all we'll see you next day bye bye